All right, moving on to the CV joint, half shaft, axle. Everybody uses a different name. I'm gonna take care of this little, where is it? Right here. This rip, crack. This is uh, something must have hit it. This would not just break on its own. It's too early for that. As you can see, the rubber is still pretty soft, and this is pretty thick stuff. Now, I probably would have gotten away without buying a new axle nut and new grease, but this is gonna see some abuse. Might as well do it the, the really right way, I should say. I'm just looking for some kind of a clip, maybe a C-clip, holding this in place. All right, found a little mystery clip. It's right inside this ridge. You can see it. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm gonna need two hands to get that sucker out. Don't lose the balls. And make sure you do this with gloves. The grease will get under your fingernails and stay there for days. Sometimes for weeks. Now we got another C-clip. Well, this time it's a C-clip. The other clip, I guess it's a spring clip. Don't even attempt to do this without one of these. Clean my shaft. Wipe each ball. Kind of look for cracks, stretch marks. Clean ball is a happy ball. Nice clean clip. I'm not gonna worry about the grease inside. I'm probably overdoing it. 
most guys would probably not even clean it. Well, it all depends. If it was, if the boot would have come off and uh, it's been there for a while, you wouldn't know how long, then it's, it's a good idea to clean this thoroughly. Make sure there's no dirt inside. There's a good chance when the boot is ripped open or it's come off, then something, moisture, water, dirt got inside. But in this case, it was a little rip and I did inspect the car before I left for the track day. I saw no signs of, the, of grease anywhere, so I'm pretty sure it happened during the track or the drive back. Alright, time to put it back together. Both dropped. way so when the axle is in it will spin this way so these kind of become aerodynamic you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. 